Hello, and welcome to this comprehensive training session on KISS Peptin, a peptide that plays a vital role in regulating reproductive health and hormonal balance. During this session, we will explore its mechanism of action, clinical applications, dosage protocols, risks, benefits, alternatives, and patient considerations. We will also discuss the use of KISS Peptin in men undergoing testosterone replacement therapy, TRT, to preserve endogenous testosterone production. Additionally, we will review three clinical case studies and discuss recommended laboratory evaluations to ensure safe and effective use. Let's get started. KISS peptin is a naturally occurring peptide encoded by the KISS-1 gene and is produced in the hypothalamus. It serves as a key regulator of the hypothalamic pituitary gonadal HPG axis by stimulating the release of gonadotropin-releasing hormone, GnRH. This action subsequently influences the release of luteinizing hormone, LH, and follicle-stimulating hormone, FSH, which are essential for reproductive function. KISS peptin has a wide range of applications in reproductive health, including the treatment of infertility, polycystic ovary syndrome, PCOS, hypogonadotropic hypogonadism, and as a safer alternative to human chorionic gonadotropin, HCG, in assisted reproductive technology, ART. Additionally, in men on testosterone replacement therapy, KISS peptin can prevent testicular atrophy and preserve endogenous testosterone and sperm production. KISS peptin acts by binding to the KISS-1 receptor, KISS-1R, on GnRH neurons in the hypothalamus. This binding stimulates the release of gonadotropin-releasing hormone, which triggers the anterior pituitary to secrete LH and FSH. In men, luteinizing hormone LH stimulates Leydig cells in the testes to produce testosterone. Follicle-stimulating hormone FSH supports spermatogenesis. In women, LH and FSH regulate the ovarian cycle by promoting follicular development and triggering ovulation. When used in men on testosterone replacement therapy, kispeptin supports the HPG axis by ensuring that endogenous testosterone production and spermatogenesis are maintained, even in the presence of exogenous testosterone. This prevents testicular atrophy and infertility, common side effects of long-term TRT. Kispeptin has several clinical applications, including infertility treatment, enhances ovulation in women with PCOS or inovulation, improves sperm production and quality in men with hypogonadism, testosterone replacement therapy support, preserves endogenous testosterone production in men on TRT, prevents testicular atrophy, and maintains fertility during TRT. Hypogonadotropic hypogonadism restores hormonal function in men and women with hypothalamic or pituitary dysfunction. Delayed puberty stimulates the onset of puberty in adolescence with delayed development due to hormonal insufficiency. Assisted reproductive technology, ART, used as an ovulation trigger to reduce the risk of ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome. Reproductive health research, investigated for its role in enhancing libido and addressing hormone-sensitive conditions. Benefits. The potential benefits of KISS peptin therapy include natural stimulation of the hypothalamic pituitary gonadal axis, reducing reliance on exogenous gonadotropins, preservation of testicular function and fertility in men undergoing testosterone replacement therapy, improved safety compared to human chorionic gonadotropin, HCG in ART, restoration of ovulation and fertility in women with hormonal disorders, regulation of pubertal onset and reproductive hormone production in adolescents with delayed puberty. Risks. While KISS peptin is generally safe, potential risks include transient side effects such as mood changes, mild anxiety or irritability due to hormonal fluctuations, rare injection site reactions including redness or discomfort, hormonal overstimulation in some cases, potentially leading to ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome, though less likely than HCG, limited long-term safety data in humans as research is ongoing. Alternatives, alternatives to KISS peptin include for preserving testicular function during TRT, human chorionic gonadotropin, HCG, or selective estrogen receptor modulators, SERMs, like clomiphene citrate, for ovulation induction, letrozole or clomiphene citrate, for hypogonadotropic hypogonadism, gonadotropin therapy, LH and FSH analogs, for delayed puberty, exogenous testosterone or estrogen progesterone therapy, 
Kiss peptin is administered via subcutaneous injection for preserving endogenous testosterone. During TRT, dose 10 to 20 micrograms per kilogram of body weight administered subcutaneously twice weekly. For ovulation induction in women, dose 6.4 micrograms per kilogram administered during the mid follicular phase to stimulate ovulation. For hypogonadotropic hypogonadism, dose 20 to 50 micrograms per kilogram administered subcutaneously every other day. For ART protocols, dose 6.4 micrograms per kilogram as a single injection to trigger ovulation. Treatment duration. Protocols are tailored to individual needs, often lasting four to eight weeks. Repeat cycles may be required for fertility or hormonal restoration. Comprehensive laboratory testing is essential to guide KISS peptin therapy and monitor its effects. Baseline testing, luteinizing hormone, LH, and follicle-stimulating hormone, FSH. Serum testosterone in men and estradiol in women, anti-malarian hormone, AMH, in women to assess ovarian reserve, semen analysis in men with fertility concerns, monitoring. During treatment, periodic measurements of LH, FSH, testosterone, and estradiol levels. Ultrasound monitoring of ovarian follicles in women undergoing ovulation induction. Post-treatment testing, hormonal profiles and fertility parameters to assess the effectiveness of treatment. Evaluate reproductive outcomes such as ovulation success or improved sperm quality. Case study 1. Male on testosterone replacement therapy. A 42-year-old male on long-term TRT presents with concerns about fertility preservation and testicular atrophy. Treatment protocol, KISS peptin, 20 micrograms per kilogram administered subcutaneously twice weekly alongside TRT. Outcome, after 12 weeks, the patient reported improved testicular size and maintained sperm production, confirmed by semen analysis. Testosterone levels remained stable. Case study two, female with anovulation and PCOS. A 29-year-old female with PCOS presents with infertility and irregular menstrual cycles. Treatment protocol, KISS peptin, 6.4 micrograms per kilogram subcutaneously daily during the follicular phase. Outcome, ovulation was achieved within two cycles and the patient became pregnant in the third cycle. Case study three, delayed puberty in an adolescent male. A 16-year-old male with delayed puberty and low gonadotropin levels undergoes treatment to stimulate puberty. Treatment protocol, KISS peptin, 20 micrograms per kilogram subcutaneously every other day for six weeks. Outcome, the patient demonstrated increased testosterone levels, testicular growth, and the onset of secondary sexual characteristics within eight weeks. In conclusion, KISS peptin is a versatile peptide therapy with significant potential in reproductive medicine, particularly for preserving endogenous testosterone production during TRT, managing infertility, and regulating hormonal imbalances. Its ability to stimulate the hypothalamic pituitary gonadal axis naturally makes it a valuable tool in both therapeutic and diagnostic settings. With a favorable safety profile and promising clinical outcomes, KISS peptin is an excellent alternative to traditional hormonal therapies. Want to introduce peptide therapy to your patients? Get certified with our free course at freepeptidetraining.com.